Match number three of LPL 2020 shall witness the Candy Tuskers and the Dambula Vikings taking on each other. Let's build our fantasy team then on my 11 circle fantasy pick on ESPN Cricket Info. I'm Ronald Kapoor. Joining me shortly, Russell Arnold. Right, first game then this season for the Dambula Vikings and the Candy Tuskers will be hoping to bounce back after that dramatic, heartbreaking loss in the opening fixture against Colombo Kings in the Super Over. Let's get Russell's thoughts starting with our pro tip, which is an interesting one, Russ. We're saying that uh, top order batters should be loaded in our fantasy teams from the evidence of at least the first game or so. Uh, and with the shorter boundaries, expect another high scoring game. Do you agree with that pro tip? Um, yes, I would because uh, those at the top of the order get the best opportunity to score runs. You set the pace of the game, you can bat for long. So, uh, you should always uh, look at those batsmen who might be ending up batting for longer and uh, get you those runs and points. With the conditions, I don't agree with the fact that it's shorter boundaries. It's 70 meter hit. On whichever pitch they play, it will be a minimum 70 meter, which is um, a decent boundary. And I think it's bigger than most grounds uh, around the world. It just looks so because there's so much greenery outside yeah. the boundary. Uh, but yet um, the conditions are such. There's uh, the wind that we are not uh, we are used to at uh, at uh, Hambanto. The correction is not there, which is kind of uh, giving the batsman a lot more opportunity to score runs. The variable wind uh, has dropped off, so it's more predictable in their sense. So runs it is. All right, fair point. Well noted by Russell. Of course, he's commentating for the LPL, so don't get confused by the TV pictures. Those boundaries are still pretty big. 70 meters is bigger than a lot of Indian grounds, so you should take that into your calculations. It's not the shortest of boundaries. Let's go to our uh, topics and uh, our fancy team. Before that, just a comment on the player availabilities. We know that Irfan Pathan went off injured after bowling 1.5 overs in the opening game, so he may not be fit. Dale Stain is still undergoing quarantine protocols, so make sure you look at the toss and the playing 11s to see who's fit and who's ready to join either side. Moving to our team, before that, quick reminder on the My11 Circle Fantasy app, 100 credits for every user to build their fantasy team. Four categories of players to choose from, batsmen, bowlers, wicketkeepers and all-rounders. You can pick a maximum of seven players from one side. Each player's individual credit value is listed on the app and we'll throw in four substitute options for you shortly as well. Let's go to our team then. Our captain choice is what we're going to kick off with first. And we're going for Kushal Pereira. He had uh, uh, a pretty good uh, opening game. 52 ball, 87. In spite of losing out uh, uh, on the eventual result of the game, we are not going to rule out Kushal Pereira to have a big impact and continue the good run of form that he started LPL 2020 with. Our vice-captain choice is Paul Sterling from the Dambula Vikings, the Irish uh, opening bat has a significant reputation in the shortest format. Hard-hitting player, strike rate of over 150. And we know that in uh, 17 T20s in 2020, he scored nearly 500 runs. So, keep an eye out for Paul Sterling. He's our vice-captain choice. Kushal Pereira is the captain choice. Let's go to some of our top picks and we're going to go with Samit Patel. Of course, we've seen in T20 cricket around the world, the England all-rounder. He's a veteran now in the format and uh, we know that uh, he uh, had a pretty good PSL in 2020, top performer with bat and ball. Samit Patel among our top picks. Remanul Agurbaz, after his opening day uh, heroics, you'd say, with the bat, is also going to continue in our top pick selection. So too, there's Niroshan Dikwela. He is one of the more highly rated Sri Lankan wicketkeeper batsmen in uh, at least the last few years. And uh, when New Zealand did tour Sri Lanka in 2019, he scored 96 runs in three innings, strike rate uh, nearly 140. So, that's uh, rounding up our top picks. Our captain choice, Kusal Pereira. Vice captain is Paul Sterling. Samit Patel, Rehman Ula Gurbaz and Niroshan Dikwala as our top picks. Russell, happy with those? Um, I like the way you're thinking. Um, hmm. Yeah, you've got that uh, top order batsman trying to get you most points. You're uh, trying to double up their points with Kusal and Paul Sterling. Now, don't forget that Paul Sterling will also bowl some. So, there's another opportunity to pick up a few more points. Yes, uh, Samit Patel, all-rounder. Gurbas, yeah, you don't look past him after what he did. Uh, Dick Weller has to be in there. And maybe from the outside, I'd like to throw in Brendan Taylor. Um, mm. Ronak, now, he, he could be available for the next game. So, if he's there, uh, I might be tempted to toss up between Samit Patel and Brendan Taylor in that situation. All right, fair point. You have an extra option thrown in by us. Let's go to some differential picks now. What do you make of Upul Taranga? We've seen him at the international level for a number of years. He hasn't quite featured in the Sri Lankan T20i side, 
but he is the 35 year old he's got the experience we're putting him in our differential picks lairu kumara is there as well fast that's what we know of lairu kumara is he going to be someone who can have an impact we've had him in our team for certain just looking at our full team that's ukutranga and lairu kumara as our differential picks and we've got uh, parera as i mentioned as our captain choice gurbash is there kushal mendes leroshan dikwela Taranga, Oshara Fernando, I like Oshara Fernando, and Asila Gunaratne is there as well. Had a nice little cameo in the opening game. Paul Sterling, Samit Patel, Lairu Kumara, and Naveen Ulhak, who also did uh, had a big impact with ball for the Tuskers. Substitutes include Ramesh Mendes, Dasun Shanaka, Nuan Pradeep, and Seku Ge Prasanna. I wonder if Russell has any more options. He's already suggested Brendan Taylor. Anyone else, Russ? Are you happy with that team? Um, I would actually bring in Dasun Shanaka in uh, in place of Oshada Fernando in, in your playing mm. eleven uh, because he'll give you both sides of it as an all-rounder and Oshada Fernando will also feature in the middle order just as Dasun Shanaka. So I'll take the gamble with uh, Shanaka in, in that instance. And until Dambulla get going, uh, we we will kind of struggle to uh, decide who exactly we want. But with Candy, our thought process is certainly different. Uh, they blew it yesterday. But I'm sure they'll bounce back because they showed a lot of quality. Kusal Mendis is another one that um, who, who would uh, who's in good form and uh, should make sure that he takes the catches. Mm, all right, let's see if the Candy Tassers can bounce back. Hopefully, they'll want to finish this game off in the 40 overs. They won't do on too many more super overs. We don't mind it. Russell Arnold doesn't mind it. We'll be back with more from uh, Russ on my 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket Info as the LPL 2020 continues.